Hi guys, welcome to week four. Um, today we're gonna do a um, contour line drawing with wire. And um, it's really fun to bend some wire and make some something uh, drawing without using just a pencil or pen, using the wire, it's real um, kind of neat. You guys are gonna need um, some paper, a pencil, a marker, and some scissors. And um, I'll show you what I did first and then I'm gonna show you how to do it, okay? So I um, wanted to do a ladybug, and so I did a, a simple line ladybug drawing, and then I took my wire and uh, wrapped it around the lines using one piece of wire, okay? So in your box, you also have um, eight feet of wire, and you have eight feet of yarn, and then you also have your black paper with a little piece of um, tape and wire to it, all right? so. Um, what you're going to need to do first is you're going to have to come up with a, a line sketch, a very, very simple subject with single lines, okay? I thought this ladybug was pretty simple, but actually it turned out to be, um, you know, not so simple when you're bending the wire, okay? Because you're going to do a continuous line. So, like, let's say if you wanted to do a fish or a um, flower, a butterfly, um, a, some kind of other bug, um, you know, just kind of do some, or you could, you can even get a picture and actually, you know, wrap the wire on top of a picture that's already drawn too. It doesn't have to be a sketch that you do. All right. So the steps are, um, first you're going to take and you're going to take your pencil and you're going to draw your simple sketch and don't, and you guys, I know everybody, um, d does a lot of really awesome drawings, but this project you want to just do make it really simple, okay? So then you're going to sketch out your, like for me it was my ladybug, just real simple lines, okay? And then you want to take a darker uh, marker, maybe if you don't have a Sharpie, but you have like say uh, blue or black markers at home, and then you're going to trace that um, pencil drawing Okay, draw, uh, trace everything around with roll lines like this. Okay. All right, and then after you do that, you can do two different things. You can either take another piece of paper and put it on top of there to practice your contoured line drawing or um, you can do it also like a blind, it's called blind contour line drawing, which you, you just look at a subject matter and do a drawing, okay? But this is just to practice because what's gonna happen is when you have your wire, it's, pretend this is like the whole piece. When you have the whole piece of wire, you're going to want to start bending this and not stop, okay? It's a, now you could probably stop and cut and bend them together, but it's a little bit harder that way. And it's kind of just fun to take your eight feet of wire and just wrap it and, and see how you're gonna go with it, okay? So tracing it with a marker is going to help you decide where to put the, the wire. It also, also we're gonna use it, we're gonna use the yarn also, okay? So let's say I, let's say I start, start up here at the top, and I think, well, I wanna do the little antenna first. So when you practice like this, you're not gonna take your marker off the paper. I mean, even if you stop, just it's gonna be a continuous line. Okay, like this. Hoping you can see all this, okay? So I'm pretending like this is my wire. And so I come up here and I have a circle inside here that's one of the spots. So what I have to do is I have to take my wire in here, wrap it around, and then bring it back out. Okay, then bend the wire this way. I have to catch this little dot, catch this dot, bring it back out bring it up and then catch this line and bring it back down 
All right, same thing. I'm gonna have to come over here and get this one. So the whole time I'm pretending like this is my wire. Bend it up here, come back down. And I think I just left, I didn't catch this line down here, I just left it, but um, anyway. Also, also, I actually happened to have just enough wire, which was good. So you guys maybe won't come up. I'm hopefully you'll have to you'll have to you'll have to see with your wire your yarn. So then I came back up here and ended right there. Okay. So then when you take your yarn, you're gonna pretend like your yarn is the wire and you can use a little bit of that tape that was on your paper too if you want. Okay. And let's say if I start it here and I use the yarn to see if it's going to be enough. Okay. So then, and if you have, um, if you want to tape all the yarn down and practice, you can, or just kind of go around the whole drawing to make sure that you have enough yarn, um, wire. Okay. And if you don't have enough wire, you might have to skip a couple things on your drawing, but eight feet should do it. Okay. Then, when you're done with the yarn, you're going to go with your wire, all right? And um, I'm just going to use this little wire here. Well, actually, I'm going to keep this video really short. So when I, what I did was I took this wire to practice here, and you bend it. I bent it up, down, caught that, did the leg, and came down here to start this other leg down here. Okay? It's pretty um, simple as far as telling you what to do, but when you start bending it, you'll see it's, it's gonna take some time and some patience. And um, eventually I got my bug here, my ladybug. And, ah, does it not look like a ladybug? Not, not so much, it's kind of a abstract ladybug, okay? So, um, there you go. You're gonna have to, and it, I'll have to bend mine back into shape a little bit here. So, when you're done with all that, you can, just just to display it, you might wanna put it on a, this black paper, okay? And that's when I gave you those little wire, just cut some of the wire that I gave you into little pieces, okay, and bend them. Maybe, I think it'll only make maybe three or four little kind of like hooks. And you're going to attach the wire to your paper, okay? So just make a couple of little holes and put the wire through there. And you can take it on the back side and bend it. Okay, and then you, uh, do that a couple, tack it down a couple places. I would probably put one here and here. And then you can have your display it that way. That way it pops off the paper, okay? Now, if you look at this and you think, oh, I really want to do something different with this wire, maybe you want to do, maybe you want it to have a little more like a 3D sculpture, then you can practice with that. Maybe you want to bend it around, like let's say if I was gonna make the ladybug without making the contour lines um, drawing, I could do, do it maybe over a rock and make little legs and work with it, okay? So, I um, hope that explains it all really well there. And um, remember, just come up with something simple and go from there, okay? Have fun, and I can't wait to see what all you guys all come up with, all right? Talk, take care. Bye-bye.